Mailbag time. Got a few interesting things here. This little project I want to build. We'll go on to that. Switches. Ah, right. These are the ones which I need to do a proper repair. There you go. Service mount, double pole, double hose switches. Latching. It's not long ago I was trying to repair on a LED light and had a switch a bit like this one in that and that failed. So I've now got a replacement. Give me links down below for these items. If I can put links down anyway. If there's anything here you look, like look off and check them out. It's an 817 module. What that means, it's a PC817 module. And you can see it's got a whole bunch of individual autocouplers across the board. I thought this could be really handy if I need to do some kind of isolation or something like that. I could potentially just hook it up to this and run through it here. It's got a ground and a positive input which run the autocoupler side on the LED side of the optocoupler. And then you've got the other side here. Hold on, wait. Maybe it's that side. N and G, and then G and V. Maybe V is the output. Oh, I don't know, I have to figure it out. But anyway, it's a board. Hmm. So I'm doing something on my Electronics Beginners video series. I was doing a little video for that about PCBs and stuff, and perf boards and I can't even open this damn thing. <laughs> I hate this stretch film tape stuff. It does not. Anyway, right. There we go. So you've got some strip board. Like so it's got strips of copper on it. For doing prototyping. A bunch of those. I thought I'd get some. And this side. But these are meant for doing like ICs and stuff like that. So you can stick an IC on the board on the top of the board here. And it will straddle that. You use those as a power plane and you can fan out the original um, IC legs. I thought these could be handy things to have. I do prototyping from time to time. Because I've actually got some stuff like this, but it's like a massive long ball that's probably about 30 centimetres long or something like that. And we've only that, you know, cut pieces off it and stuff like that. But I do tend to find I'm using balls about this kind of size when I'm doing my prototyping. Or maybe it's smaller on this some of this, I'm actually using an IC. So I think that's why I got these because I thought they'd probably be a good option. BWS20? Got no idea what this is. Ah, right. Some chargers. Quick charge and power delivery. How safe are these? I've got no idea. A bit to do good quality stuff, so I'm fairly confident these are good chargers. There's a few other brands as well which I trust with uh, with the products, and Blitzwolf is one of them. If you know any reason to doubt that, then please let me know. And those are the specs in the back of the box: five volts, nine volts, twelve volts. So three amps down to one point five amps, basically. Fuses and fuse holders. Anyway, these are service mount fuses, not with fuse holders, and these little, I can't remember the name of these bloody fuses now, they've got a certain size 6.3 amps, 12 amps, 0.25 amps, 1 amp, 2.5 amps, and 0.5 amps. I got these because I needed to fix. This multimeter, <laughs> which I did a review on, it's a must tool with one. And what happened to this, if you hadn't seen that review, then okay. Um, in the bottom there, you can see it's got these fuses which are soldered to the circuit board, they're not even holders, they're soldered in. I think that one there blew, I made a mistake, I accidentally put so much current through it and popped the fuse. <laughs> so I actually got to take that fuse out. What I'm going to do is put one of these holders in. Take the fuse out, solder on a holder, which is what's supposed to be there, and pop in a new fuse. At least that way in future, 
it's exchangeable. Someone can put a new fuse in if they've got the right type instead of having to desolder it. Um, I won't be keeping this meter, I'm going to be selling it. I've got so many multimeters, I don't need to keep every single one I get. So this one will be sold. Right, here's the big box. Let's see what's in here. Well, I know what's in here. Obviously you don't. Right, what we got? Got some PCBs. We have some more PCB Way stickers because this is from PCB Way. I've got some rulers and new colours. Some coasters. And a shirt. So, I've done another project which I've had manufactured by PCB Way. Here's one of my sponsors. Hence the extra bits and pieces. You can actually buy these as well, these coasters. PC Way are celebrating, so it's the eight year anniversary. So they've uh, sent me some extra bits to celebrate that. So we've got a shirt over here, PCB Way in the front. And it's got this on the back of it. Eight years. Very nice, pretty much. And I can't fold things up, so it's never going back in that bag. <laughs> so I've got the stickers. Rulers in new colours, so we've got pink, grey, translucent, and orange silk screens in these rulers. So these are new colours they're offering for silk screens. That's nice, and these are all gold as well. I've got lots of these rulers now. I've got them scattered over the place. But yeah, I don't know. Clive, maybe you want this one. Now these coasters you can buy, they've got these on their website. I saw them there, I thought hey, these look pretty interesting. So it's schematic symbols, nice little reference. If you're drawing schematics or checking stuff out, maybe that would be helpful. On the other side, more symbols. And you've got the VIR triangle, which I mentioned in my beginner series video to discuss that. And this other one is a bunch of footprints. There's stuff on here which isn't on the rulers. So I think so anyway, but yeah. Button sizes, excellent. Nice. But you can buy these, are like, I think they're $5 each. So if you're doing an order on PCB Way, then maybe chuck some new one because they'll be candy. So, let's look at the boards. So this is a project I've designed. I haven't even tested it, haven't mocked it up, I've done nothing. May not even work. There you go, constant current source. In theory it'll work, at least I think it will. I could be completely wrong though. So I'm going to build these up in a future video, very soon, maybe even this week. And there's the back of the board. So I actually originally ordered this with a yellow silk screen and a standard hassle finish. And I contacted PC Way said, oh, let's, let's make them look a bit nicer, let's do them black with gold. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> if you want to spend the extra money, that's fine. I don't need to be gold, but in this case, I wanted to make them look really nice, and uh, they do. You can see I've got some slots in here. I'll be building this very soon. Hopefully it works. I hope it works because I haven't actually tried it yet. Thanks much PCB Way for sponsoring the videos and sending me PCBs for no cost. It's great. So make sure you check out the videos and if you're interested in PCB Way and getting boards made, maybe check out the link down below which goes to the website. There's a playlist over here which I think you should watch. There's a playlist there which you usually think you should watch. Subscribe link right here if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, which you really should do. And there's a Patreon support link over there if you want to do a monthly donation to help support the channel and help me to buy things in mailbag and bits of broken test gear and stuff like that. And there's also a thanks button down below if you want to do a one-off donation to give you a bit of a boost, I suppose. Bye.